So for example, if I have this reaction again, and my rate equation is a constant times A squared and B, then remember I had the mechanism. The mechanism I made was A plus A giving me an intermediate I and I reacting with B to give me 2C plus 2D. So I had this, uh, this mechanism. This was step 1 and this was step 2. So now as you can see, the rate equation has A squared and B. This means that by the time the slowest uh, step in the reaction has taken place, two molecules of A have reacted because A squared and one molecule of B has reacted because B, uh, because B is to the power of 1. So the slowest step in this reaction will be step 2. This will be the slowest step and hence the rate determining step because by the time uh, the rate determining step has finished, two molecules of A and one molecule of B have reacted and in the rate equation I have two of A and one of B. However, if I have, we will do a real example uh, concerning nitrogen monoxide after this, so don't worry But if you don't understand, but for now let's understand using this. If instead of this rate, equ rate equation, they said that the rate equation for this reactant is K times A squared, like reaction, sorry, not K, uh, so uh, the rate equation for this reaction is K times A squared and not B because B must be to the power of zero. So this means that by the time the slowest step has taken place, two molecules of A have reacted and zero molecules of B have reacted. So in this case, step one becomes the slowest step because by the time the, sl uh, the step, step one finishes, two molecules of A have reacted and zero molecules of B because B only reacts in the second step. So step one is my slowest, slowest or rate determining step because by the, by the time step one finishes, two molecules of A have reacted and my rate equation says that only uh, two molecules have reacted until the rate determining step takes place. So, so this the, the rate equation tells us about the reaction mechanism and vice versa. Now we have this example of uh, and uh, so I'll, I'll write the overall equation for you. So the overall equation is 2H2 gas plus 2NO gas. Uh, sorry, it's not NO, it's NO. Oxygen has to be capital. Uh, 2NO gas gives... 2H2O gas plus N2 gas. So this is the balanced equation for this reaction and I am given, they have already given me that the rate equation for this reaction is rate is equal to K times concentration of H2 multiplied by concentration of NO squared. So this tells me these numbers, so this is to the power, H2 is to the power of 1, NO is squared. So this tells me that by the time the slowest step has taken place, two molecules of NO because NO is squared and one molecule of H2 have reacted. So in step 1, two molecules of NO react to give N2O plus O. So if I said that this is the slowest step, I would be wrong because this would suggest that by the time the slowest step has completed, two molecules of NO react and uh, zero molecules of H2 react. So if this was correct, if this was the case, then the rate equation would have been K times NO squared because, on, and that's it because if the first step was the slowest step, then by the time the slowest step has happened, 
two molecules of NO have reacted. That's it. So it will be NO squared. NO because NO.